you guys, this is Shaw Kirby 707 and welcome to Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In the last part, we defeated the Armored Harriers and we got Yeo, which is my, the name of my Yoshi, me Yeo. And he's really so cute! Anyways, uh, yeah, we defeated the Armored Harriers and now we're in the Major League locker room. Or, well, we're in the Major League now, so hooray for us. And we found out that the belt on Rock Hall, the crystal star on Rock Hall's belt is actually a fake. So we're trying to figure out where the real one is at. And we got a message from an unknown person named X. He said that if you want the crystal star, heed my instructions. Apparently this X dude knows where the crystal star is at. Huh. Should we trust him? I don't know. But I gotta use the bathroom. Occupied! Oh, come on! How long are you gonna be in there? Yeah, no matter what, this person will not go out for some reason. Yeah. Hmm. Well, anyways, aside from mystery, mysterious bathrooms and all this shenanigans going on in the glitch pit, we got a fight to go into. So, as you can see, Rock Hot is the champion, but we still got a long way to go. Anyways, our next fight is the Tiny Spinnies. You know what? I'm gonna switch to Gumbella this time around. Well, for tattling at least. Alright, so our next fight is the Tiny Spinnies. And never mind, we cannot switch partners. Okay, so apparently Gumbella is gonna pretty much be in this fight for the rest. Well, yeah, pretty much in the rest of the fight she's gonna be with us. So, unfortunately I cannot switch to Yeo and show the other moves. But, I want Gumbella out anyway because I need to tattle these enemies. So, yeah. Alright, well, oh. Unless I'd be thinking of something else. Okay, never mind. Well, anyway, I'd still have to tell them regardless. The thorny demon, the tiny spinnies. Alright. Whee! It's gonna be fun poking the fun at you. Aw, they look so adorable. But yet, they hurt a lot. Yes, these spinnies made me look cute, but they hurt a lot. Alright, adult change partners. Alrighty then. Uh, first of all, I am gonna quick hammer you. Alright. At least that'll work for some. Yeah, that'll work. Anyways, um, let's tattle. N do not switch partners. At least for me, do not switch partners. Alright, so those are Rex Spike Top. It's the most well protected of the Buzzy Beetle species. Okay, it's matching phase 5, attack is 3, and defense is a whopping 5. Yep, this guy is hard. Has a really high defense, so fire explosion don't hurt it at all, but we can flip it over with a quick hammer, so. <coughs> their defense is, their defense is uh, rent zero once you flip them over, so that's actually really good. So that way Gumbella, Gumbella can actually jump on these guys. No! Oh, good, 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 good. <laughs> that's actually useful, actually. So that took care of one guy. And we can take care of the last guy right here. Thank you, Stage, for making things fall off the roof. Awesome. And yeah, we're almost to a level up. Awesome. Alright, so we feed the... 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 Something Spinnies. The Tiny Spinnies? I don't know. I don't know the name of these guys. <laughs> Alright, so... With that, we got our fight money. Awesome. 11 coins. We're getting rich from the Gliss Pit. Nice. Alright. That's actually pretty good. Alright. Alright, so no email from Tech... Or, not Tech. <laughs> no, X. Actually, let's talk to these guys. I don't talk to them yet. We need to get a proper introduction into the major league, but let's talk to them. I think maybe I could use a power up or two as well, because I, I ain't going nowhere. Okay. What about you, Mr. Hammer Bro? You ought to know, man. This hammer was forged by my grandpappy. You really think a new model like that can stand up to a vintage heirloom like this? <laughs> okay. How about you? I just defeated you and your partner. I have a super hard shell and a super, sh super sharp spike. Yeah, I may be small, but look out. Hey, you look so adorable! What about you? One's posture in battle is forged by one action of life. Remember this. Okay. Uh, I think I'm not gonna heal. I think I'll be fine. Alright, let's see. What's our next match? Is the Poker Faces. Alright. Let's see who it is against. The Poker Faces. Alright. No items. Alright, that's actually fine with me. Uh, I believe we tell these enemies before um, when we're on our way to the Schwung Fortress, but I'm gonna keep Gumbella out just in case. I know there's not gonna be much, I guess, screen time for Yeo, 
since I'm busy trying to tattle the enemies, but we'll eventually see Yi as attack soon enough. Oh yeah, the ultimate weapon, the poker faces. Hoo 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 you're gonna be close lock, kid, and that ain't good. Yeah, we saw these guys um, on the way to Schwank Fortress. Now, like, the Bella, whenever these guys, they have no weaknesses, you can't jump on them or go near them, or even use fire. And remember the item that we used against these guys? It was a power block, but we do not have any power blocks, and we cannot use any items whatsoever. But we do have the quick hammer, which is equivalent to a power block, so let's use the quick hammer. So as long as you're far away from the, from these guys, you should be alright when you use the quick hammer. And there we go. That takes care of them. Awesome. And there we go. The bristles are down. And we're almost to level up. Woohoo! We're getting to there. Woohoo. Alright. More fight money. Give me lots of money. Yeah. So now we're on number eight. Getting closer to the champion. Woohoo! And another mail from X. Alright. I really have to say, this song is really creepy. I mean, it, it was from Super Mario Bros. 3 and the Ice World, but this, still, this song is really creepy. Go to the watering hole outside the glitch pit from X. Ah, the watering hole. It's from that X guy again. Great. The watering hole, huh? If you say so, X. Who is this mysterious guy? I don't know, Camilla, but I'm kind of wondering who it is. Hmm. We're not sure. <laughs> we'll have to figure it out who this X guy is soon. Alright, I just want to be rested up for a bit before we head out. I mean, there's no, there's not going to be any fight, but I might as well since later on we're going to get into a fight in this episode. Alright, let's get you some screen time because <laughs> he hasn't really battled much lately besides fighting the armor harriers, but most of the time I'm going to be using Gumbella to, to tattle enemies. And hey, there's our poster of us. Nice. Looks pretty cool, honestly. Alright, so X told us to go to the watering hole, which is the juice bar. So we'll head there right now. Wow, 214 coins. Nice. Alright, so let's head into the juice bar and see what this X dude wants. Hey, buddy, uh, we were told to come here by X. Is there anything that he wanted? Is there a reason why he wanted to come here? Oh, you're Mr. Gonzalez. Yeah, that's the mustache I've been waiting for. Wait, what? Actually, you're pretty late. Somebody left a package and a note by the door a bit ago. The letter said, "Look for a thick-stashed man named Gonzalez and give him this." The this the letter was talking about is this. Oh, wow, a super hammer. Well, X apparently gave us a hammer. Okay, so we got an upgrade to our hammer, and here it is, Toadette. Congratulations on getting that super hammer, it's way more powerful. Plus, you can also use a wicked cool new technique. Wanna learn about it? Sure you do. Let's practice, it's a little hard, but I'm sure you'll get it. Hold down B and rotate the control stick until your body twists up. Then release B to perform your super hammer technique. The key is to rotate a lot before releasing B. Alright, so... We gotta hold down B and rotate the control stick, then release B. Alright, so hold B and rotate. And tell Mario twist, then you can do a super hammer technique. Awesome. Alright, now we got it. But thanks so thanks a lot, Togat. Alright, so we mastered the super hammer. And with that, we can destroy these big blocks with the super technique. So that was pretty dang awesome. And also our power went up in our hammer, so now we can do two. Two damage per whack. Awesome. Well, four if you perform the extra command correctly. But pretty much, we're more powerful. Woohoo! And so far as I can tell, that hammer is a new model, the Hammer Whack 2005. Real nice hammer all around. Solid craftsmanship, good grip, high bonk ability. The commercials for this thing say that the hammer chooses its user. Ugh. They aren't cheap either, so whoever gave this to you must be a big fan. I guess so. So X is a fan of me? Huh. But why leave it in the juice shop? Doesn't that strike you as a bit odd? Yeah, it is. But too bad we don't... Too bad X... Or... Yeah, X. So pretty much X was the one that gave us the super hammer. Hmm. And we get another email. Alright, email time. Like you said. Smash the blockage in the minor league locker room. 
the blockage in the Marley locker room, huh? Wonder what's behind it. Huh. But hey, that, that pretty girl is gone, by the way. If you guys notice, that girl is gone. Huh. Really odd, huh? Goodspell is a really mysterious place. <laughs> it's not just an arena and entertainment. There's also lots of mystery in the Goodspell, huh? Well, we heard the... We heard the, what X said, we need to go back to the Miley locker room to destroy a huge block? Huh. Well, let's talk to the security guard and go back to the Miley locker room. Ah, oh, Gonzalez, isn't it? I got the word that you wanted to move back down to the Miley lock. Miley League again. I can't say I understand why. Anyway, go on in. Alrighty then. Well, this guy was surprisingly nice to us to go... <laughs> Back to the Miley locker room. Hey guys, how's it going? Like the stinky smell of the Miley locker room? Hey, Mr. Stinkwatt, what are you doing here? You know, just chilling, making fun of you guys that you're in the Miley locker room. If you want to fight outside the ring, I'll give you a fight, you big jerk. Uh, they're not too happy about us, and <laughs> that's for sure. Um, yeah, if you guys didn't notice, there was a big block here when we were in the Miley League. I probably did. This you know, mention that, but yeah, there was a, a big block here. Since we got a super hammer, we can destroy this. And how convenient that X gave us a super hammer to destroy the block. And up there we see a lot of paperwork. Hmm. Well, let's see what it is. You fly across. And we got a dubious paper, a letter that looks like it has a lot of important stuff in it. Let's look at it, actually. Hmm. Whoa, Gonzalez, that's some kind of scientific paper on the crystal stars. Who'd be investigating those things besides us? They even look they even took pictures. Who leaves something like this lying around? This just reeks of funny business. You got that right, Yo. -Yo. Well, let's head back to the major league and there is Jolie. You again, Mr. Gonzalez, what are you doing in here? Uh nothing, nothing. This is the minor league locker room. Major league athletes are forbidden. Even if they weren't, it's hardly appropriate to bash down our walls, hmm? I'll just be confiscating this, thank you very much. Hey! Oh, come on! We just got it and already she's been taking it away from us? That's not fair. What's with her all of a sudden? Dang, what's with her? We busted our hunts getting that information. Some people just got it right on parade. Well, at least we know the Crystal Star is here. Yeah, at least we know for sure that, that the Crystal Star is here, but... Dang it, Jolene, why you take the papers away? Jeez. Now she's even more mysterious than I thought. Hmm. Well, anyways... Well, that's it for the task for now. Let's get into our next fight, shall we? Alright, so our next fight is against the Shell Shockers. Oh no. I remember this fight. I remember this fight. Okay, I'm all healed up. That's good. Let's reserve a fight. Alright. So our next fight is against the Shell Shockers. Ah, no hammers? Really? Oh, come on. I cannot use a single hammer? Really? Dude, come on. Alright, well let's just get this fight over with. I honestly don't like this battle. <laughs> I really don't because the enemies that we're facing, or the opponents, they can hurt a lot. A lot. Alright, so we got the turtle hurdles. The shell shockers. Now, Yia will be good, great for this, but I still want to take Abella out. The so-called great Gonzalez. Don't think I'm going to take it easy on you, baby. Yeah, like I said, I would use Yu for this because he'll be really helpful. But uh, like I said, I still need Gabella to tattle. And you got an earthquake, buddy. Oh boy. All right, I can't use hammer, right? Okay, I forgot what the rules was. I'm like, what was the rules again? All right, before we get this guy off the air, let's use this on him. Ah, uh, that's a shady parachute, but a shady Koopa with a wing. Obviously, match HP is 8, attack is 3, and defense is 1. Knock it off with his wings. His attack jumps when it flips out. Yes, these guys are powerful when they're flipped on their back. If you flip them on their 
back, they have a really dangerous move that can hurt you a lot. Yeah, and it can hit you and your partner, which is ridiculously high. Um, actually, I'm trying to think what to do, but... You know what? Crystal Star time. I don't feel like dealing with these guys. You know what? The rule doesn't say that we can't use a Crystal Star, so I'm going to take advantage of that. Sometimes you have to use a Crystal Star. <laughs> Whether the rules tell you or not. But in this situation, I want to because I do not want to get hit by their powerful move. Alright, there we go. They're immobilized. That's good. Let's take... Well, actually, Kumbel take care of the tattling and then take care of the Shady Koopas. Alright, so same thing with the Parachubas. They're also powerful when they're on the back. Yeah, I do not want to see that. I mean, you probably, you guys probably would like to see it, but I don't want to see it. Okay, so I cannot use hammers, so we're not going to use any hammers in this fight. We're going to go all jumping. But basically, I just want to get rid of that guy because... Eh, I did not want to... I did not want to get powerful move from these guys. Okay, 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 um, multi-ball, multi-ball, please. Yeah, because if they use that move against us, it's really powerful. But you know what? I think I'll demonstrate it, um, by this Koopa. So when they're on their back, they can do a really powerful move. And that alone does, like, six damage if you don't guard. So it is essentially a really powerful move. So, <laughs> Uh, you do not want you do not want these guys to be flipped on their back because that can hurt a lot. And with that, we get a level up. Yay! Awesome. Level up for us. So last time we leveled our BP. Now we're gonna level up our HP. All right. So let's up level up our HP. Woohoo! All right. There we go. And we defeated the the shell shockers. Alright! With the Gonzales! Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. The Iron Adonis twins are here. Whoa, Nelly! I don't believe my eyes, folks. The Iron Adonis twins are in rage. You made us look like Sutter the other day, and now you're gonna pay for it. Aw, oh, a little talk from your match great stink law. Too bad. Prepare for pain. Well, luckily for us, we leveled up. So <laughs> we're not tired at all. So we're gonna bring Yeo out once again. So Yeo's another shiny moment is defeating the Iron Clutch. All right, Yeo, you know what to do. Follow them and puke them out. Hit, hit them each, hit them each with each other. Blah. Hey, yeah, these guys are pretty much easy to dodge. So yeah. All right, Yeo, finish the job. You know what to do. All right, and there we go. Yeo reigns victorious once again. Thanks a lot, Yeo. And they are defeated again. Brr, we lost. After all that, we reek. Hoo-wee. That's our great Gonzalez friends and neighbors. Kids, don't you blink when the Iron Eye and the twin barge in an attack. Woo. Tough. He's too dang tough. Yeah, this kid's only bound for bigger things, folks. Until next time, everyone. See ya. Wow, these guys really hold a grudge against us. All right, so we get our fight money. Awesome. We're getting richer and richer. Alright. Alright, see ya, Jolie. Even though you're the one that took our papers away. <laughs> and another letter. Or email. Alright, who's it from this time? Oh, hello. Keep sticking your nose in where it doesn't belong and you are D-E-A-D-M-E-A-T. Dead meat. Man, that dude doesn't do sounds peed. I'm thinking that isn't our ex-buddy. Yeah, that doesn't seem like X. X usually has lower and capitalized letters in this message, but this one doesn't seem like it. What do you think would send something like that? Hmm, I wonder who. Well, guys, well, <laughs> yeah, so not only did we get a message from X, but we also got another message, but not from X? Huh. I don't think X will send that message to us, since X is sort of helping us finding the Crystal Star. Hmm. Well, guys, we're going to figure that out probably in the next part and fight more battles. So, yeah, we're going to do that yet again. So, more fighting and more mystery in the Glitch Pit. So, I will see you guys then. So, 
This is Charlotte Kirby, 707. See? Bye!